Okay, so here we've got an exchange rate question. So we've got an exchange rate here. It says one pound is equal to two dollars. So um, when we get exchange rates, we always have a one. So something's one, and then it's equal to, so it could be one pound is equal to one dollar fifty one. Um, we always have a one. And so when we're doing the exchange rate, we're really looking at this two for when we're doing our questions. That's the, going to be the key number we're going to use. Um, if I want to go from pounds to dollars, I'm going to times. So pounds to dollars, pounds to dollars, that will be times by two. And if I want to go back, dollars to pounds, dollars to pounds, that would be divide by two. So if I'm going forwards, I'm times in. If I'm going back, I'm dividing. And that will answer any exchange rate question. So we're going to convert these amounts to dollars. So pounds to dollars is times by the exchange rate. We're going forwards. So we're times in by the exchange rate, in this case, two. So I'm going to times these numbers by two. And that's going to convert them into dollars. So um, £5.20 times 2, so that will give me $10.40. £60 pounds times 2, so that's the same as $120, because 60 times 2 is 120. And 130 times 2, 260. So we're just times in by these numbers, times in by the exchange rate, to convert pounds to dollars. Converting from dollars back to pounds, we're going to divide by two. To go backwards, we're dividing by two. So $7.50, so we're half in it, and that's £3.75. $250, that's $125. And $142, that's 71 So we're just dividing by two. And that's converting back into pounds. So this question is harder because um, we're going to have to use a calculator. That's the only reason it's harder. So the key number in the exchange rate is the one that's not 1. 181. So from pounds to dollars, forwards, we're going to times. If we go backwards, I'm going to divide by this number. So five pounds twenty and uh, times i'm going to do times 181 times 181 times 181 and going back from dollars to pounds divide by 181 okay we're going to have to use the calculator and um, i haven't got the calculator up on the screen so um i'll just type them in five twenty times 181 so that gives us 9.412 now because this is money we need to round to two decimal places so this is 41 2 is not big enough to, to kick him up so $9.41 so then 60 times 181, 1.81, that gives us a nice round number. It's 108 pounds. It says 0.6 on the calculator, and because it's money, that's 60 cents. And then 130, 130 times 1.81, that's 235. Point three again, so this is 30. And then converting back, so that's divide. So the same thing in the calculator, I'm just typing in 7.50 divide 1.81. So 7.50 divide 1.81. So that's given me 4.1436 and so on. Again, it's two decimal places, so it's four pounds fourteen because it's not five, it's not going to kick it up. 250 divided by 1.81, 1 
So that's 138.212547. Two decimal places again. So that's 138 pounds 12. And finally, 142 divide 1.81. So that's 78. I'm going to round it straight away, 45. Okay, so in this example, the dollars and the pounds have switched around. So we've got dollars on the left and pounds on the right. So this is our key number now. So 0 0.72 is our exchange rate. And if I'm going to go from dollars to pounds, that's forwards now. So dollars to pounds is times pounds back to dollars, backwards, divide. So from pounds to dollars, these ones are pounds to dollars. That's backwards, that's divide. So these ones are divide by the exchange rate. So I'm going to type them into the calculator now. So 5.20 divide 0 0.72. It's come up 7.2 recurring. So that means um, 7.22222 going on forever. So in money, I want two decimal places. So this is, um, it's in dollars, isn't it? So it's seven, so seven, um, 22. Uh, 60 divided by 0 0.72. That's come up 83.3 recurring. So 83.33333. Two, dec two decimal places again. So it's 83 dollars 33 cents and then finally 130 divide by 0 0.72 that's 180.5 recurring five 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 this is going to round up so it's going to be 180.5656 cents these ones are dollars to pounds dollars to pounds is going forwards so that's times by the exchange rate, times by 0 0.72 in this case, 750 times 0 0.72. That's come up 5.4. It's money, so it's £5.40. 250 times 0 0.72. That's come up 180. And 142 times 0 0.72 is a hundred and two pounds twenty four pence okay here's some for you to try so pause the video give them a go um and then i'll put the answer up after okay so here's our key number and forwards we're going to times by 1.52 backwards divide by 1.52 so pounds to dollars, that's forwards. So these are times by 1.52. Times by 1.52. So I'm going to type them in the calculator. So 8 times 1.52. That's 12.16. So $12.16. 50 times 1.52. That's 76 exactly. $76. And... 100 times 1.52, that's going to be $152. Now, dollars to pounds, that's backwards, so it's divided by the exchange rate. So these are divided by 1.52. 5 divide 1.52. So we've got quite a big decimal here. So 3.28947 and so on. Two decimal places, remember, so it's three pounds twenty nine. Seventy divided by one point five two. Again, a big decimal number, so there. So we've got forty six point zero five two six three and so on. So that is forty six pounds and five pence. Two decimal places again because it's money. And finally, uh, 187 divided by 1.52. That gives us 123.026339. Uh, 
and so on. We want to round to two decimal places again. So this is 123 pounds and three pence. So that's the number three. That one is number two. It's a bit messy. Uh, but there are the answers.